because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that Todd Howard. Todd Howard never changes. Power Armor in Fallout 4 has changed from the previous four games. And a lot of the changes did anger longtime fans. But one of them actually made a lot of sense to me. The hands in the previous games were actual armored gloves and gauntlets. But the hands in the newer games are, or at least seem to be, robotic. And in a world where handling explosives, superheated plasma, high powered lasers, and all kinds of bullets is necessary for survival, well, the minute something goes wrong, replacing a hand means bolting and wiring a new one on rather than extensive surgery. Well, I know what I'd prefer. I've always tried to make some kind of power glove thing, and it wasn't really all that functional. And I could never make the thumb poseable, which is very important for a hand, as you probably know. Normally, I'll just buy an already engineered product and just pack it into what I need, but this time I'm taking the advice of a commenter. Xander here. I'm gonna build my own from kind of scratch. Yeah, it looks like I might not be able to bend these pieces unless I have a tool for the hydraulic press, so. But, in the meantime, I've st installed the first servo for the thumb, and I've added one of the steel tendons. My idea is to use miniature linear actuators to pull down on this little steel cable. Now, with a little bit of force, you can get the finger to fully come back in. Now I'm going to use springs on the other side to pull it out when the linear actuator has extended itself. Yeah, but I guess this is where I need to end the video today. But um, don't worry, part two will be up pretty damn soon. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Please clap. A better man than you thought I'd